Hello, welcome to the July Registry Partners Coding Break. This coding break will review the data item Lymphovascular Invasion, or LVI. What is lymphovascular invasion? Lymphovascular invasion is the invasion of a cancer in the blood vessels and or lymphatic channel. The predictive value and prevalence of LVI is strongly dependent on the type of cancer. But generally speaking, it is associated with lymph node mets, which is predictive of a poor prognosis. The objectives for today's topic include, understand when to apply code eight for not applicable, apply the codes two, three, and four for small vessel, large vessel, or both types of invasion, Understand how to code LVI when a case is treated with neoadjuvant therapy, and understand the assignment of code zero not present for in situ cases. The primary sources of information for coding LVI are the pathology checklist or synaptic report. If the case does not have a checklist or synaptic report, we are to code from the pathology report or a physician statement in that worker. Information to code LVI may be taken from any specimen of the primary tumor, meaning biopsy or resection. And if LVI is identified in any specimen, it should be recorded as present. We are to refer to the table in the store for cases that treated with neoadjuvant therapy, which we will review in this presentation. Code 8 equals not applicable. This is to be used for benign or borderline brain and CNS tumor sites and for schema IDs on page 155 of the store manual, letter E. This is not to be confused with the coding instructions on page 152, letter E, which states for cases with benign or borderline behavior, code the LVI documented, negative or positive, and if not documented, code unknown. You may also use code 8 when standard when your standard setter does not require the data item. First store, page 155, states, lymphovascular invasion must be coded 8, NA, for all of these schema IDs listed. These schema IDs listed are within your registry software system. Three new codes have been added for cases diagnosed on or after 1-1 of 2018. Revised CAP protocols and 8th edition chapters will indicate which chapters will use the new codes 2, 3, and 4, and which will only use the existing codes 0, 1, 8, or 9. As some disease sites where the distinction between small vessel and large vessel is not medically appropriate. Again, code 2 is for small vessel, Code three is for large, and code four indicates both small and large vessel invasion. This is an example of a CAT protocol for a resection specimen with primary carcinoma of the colon and rectum, illustrating the elements for the pathologist to check off for lymph lymphovascular invasion. Here you will see the small vessel and large vessel invasion for this site. Cases with neoadjuvant therapy, you will need to refer to the table on page 153 of the store manual. The table should be used to code the LVI data item depending on how the LVI was recorded on the pathology report prior to neoadjuvant therapy, which is in the first column, plus how LVI was reported on the pathology report after neoadjuvant therapy, which is the second column, resulting in the code entered into the registry software, which is in the third column. For example, if the pathology report read as present prior to neoadjuvant treatment, and then not present or not identified after treatment, you would code the LVI as present. It is important to refer to this table to make sure you are entering the correct code based on the case scenario. Using the table, let's work through these three case scenarios that receive neoadjuvant treatment. Number one, the LVI reported on the biopsy report prior to neoadjuvant treatment was described as present. And then after neoadjuvant therapy, they did not document lymphovascular invasion. So 
input was unknown. So therefore, the code we enter for LVI is present for a one. On the second case, the LVI is reported on the biopsy report prior to neoadjuvant treatment as not present. The surgical pathology after neoadjuvant therapy marked LVI as cannot be determined or unknown. So therefore, we would code the LVI to unknown. In the third example, LVI is reported on the biopsy report to ne prior to neoadjuvant treatment as not documented or unknown. The surgical pathology report after neoadjuvant treatment marked LVI as present. So therefore, we code LVI to a code one present. Finally, the store instructs on page 153, number two, to use of the code. Use code zero when the pathology report indicates that there is no lymphovascular invasion. This includes cases of purely in situ carcinoma, which biologically have no access to lymphatic or vascular channels below the basement me membrane. This sentence is actually cut off in store at the word basement, and it's noted in the store addendum. I did provide the link both to the store manual and to the addendum. So in this brief example, we have a shave biopsy of the left upper back, which was positive for malignant melanoma in situ, superficial spreading, peripheral biopsy edges are involved, and then the wide local excision was positive for biopsy site changes with residual melanoma in situ. Margins are free. Even though lymph lymph lymphovascular invasion is not mentioned, we code zero since this is an in situ case. Thank you everyone for listening.